Welcome to CP101 and this is a uh, going to be a new project that we're starting up. Um, as you saw by the beginning it's the bat plane and this is uh, the blat, the blat, uh, boy you can tell I just woke up. And this is the bat plane that uh, I grew up with. Uh, this is the Polar Lights one. And this is the first Polar Lights one because it was still owned by playing Mantis at that time. This is actually the Aurora one and uh, as a kid I built this tons of times. I would play with it, break it, uh, build it again, play with it, break it, you know, rinse, repeat kind of thing that I did with a lot of my models. They were more toys that I put together than I looked at them as model kits which is why I don't have them anymore. <laughs> but anyway and it's okay. I mean, it's not a bad uh, kit. Uh, you can build this up to be a really nice looking uh, bat plane. And it's based on the really old comic book. Might have been the 50s, early 60s that this appeared in the comic book. This style of uh, bat plane. But as a kid, uh, you know, I was a big Batman nut and I always liked to uh, look at the comic books. Uh, especially uh, when I was sitting in the barber shop, we had an old style barber shop back when I was a kid. It was called Jack's uh, Barber Shop, and Jack always had uh, Batman comic books, Superman comic books. But uh, it was a great place. I have a lot of fond memories of that little barber shop. But anyway, one of the ones that I grew up with in the comic books was the Bat Plane that uh, they gave uh, Batman. Uh, in one of the 1968 editions and I think it only appeared in two editions and that was this one right here the F-101 Voodoo and uh, I think later on they gave Batman a Phantom F-4 uh, for the Bat Plane but this one appeared it wasn't a whole lot of issues maybe one or two it only appeared in but I always thought it was cool and I always wanted to build it thought it'd be cool to build a uh, Voodoo as the Bat Plane so that's what we're gonna do and uh, this one we're going to be doing uh, like a buddy build with Kenny May over at Moonwalker Models because Kenny always wanted to do the same thing. And we were chit-chatting one night and uh, decided, you know, why not do a buddy build because we both want to build it and uh, thought it would be fun, so that's what we're going to do. So anyway, uh, this is 148th. It's got 110 parts, I think. As you can see the monogram, it's the Century Series. It's a really nice kit, actually. I might get me another one of these. Um, I never looked at it until now, and it's really pretty nice. Uh, it's got uh, two pilots in it, and it's got all of the uh, really nice paneling, uh, detailing, and uh, it's just not, it's not a bad kit. It really is uh, uh, pretty nice. Um, it's got a nice cockpit in it, and uh, you know it's got all your armament. I don't know if we're going to use all of that armament, but uh, yeah, it's really a uh, really nice kit. So uh, you know, being it's going to be the bat plane, we're not going to be using any of the markings or anything. Uh, Kenny sent me a uh, uh, logo, the bat emblem, the the '60s style bat emblem that was on this. Uh, Kenny made it up last night and sent it off to me and said, here you go, if you want to use it, use it, and I am going to use it. I'll make my own decals for the bat emblem on the uh, wings and fuselage. And we got our color mixed up. Uh, it's a bluish, kind of blackish. I call it Batman blue, <laughs> I guess. But I mixed it up. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. It's going to be that color. I didn't want it too black, uh, but it did you know want the blue to be really dark and it's got uh, uh, it's got the Liquitex um, iridescent medium uh, thrown in there to give it a little bit of a pearl uh, color but I used uh, just the good old Ceramco black a satin black and Craft Smart satin uh, midnight blue I mixed these two together uh, until I got uh, the shade that's in this uh, jar so I think it'll look um, I think it'll look pretty good uh, when it's uh, painted this color. And we'll still use uh, some of the decals that come with the kit, like all the warnings and, and rescue markings and all that other stuff we'll be using 
all that. I don't know how well they'll show up on this dark blue, but we're going to use it anyway. And uh, it comes molded in like a really dark gray. Uh, here's the uh, decal sheet that comes with it. You can build two different versions. You can build a, a National Guard uh, version or uh, what's the other version? Lockbourne Air Force Base, Ohio, uh, 87th uh, version. Uh, if I were to build this as a military jet, I'd probably build the Lockbourne version. But uh, you can build uh, those two versions. And as I said, here are the uh, instructions that come with it, which are pretty nice, actually. And, uh, you know, it's not a too big of a jet. It's still pretty good size for a 148, so, uh, but it's not uh, a really large uh, jet. Uh, my glasses on. I'll try to get close to the camera so you can see some of the fuselage uh, details. It's pretty nice. Like I said, it's... I was surprised when I was looking at the pieces parts uh, how nice uh, let me get my viewfinder here so I can look at my viewfinder and see what you're seeing but uh, you can see uh, some of that hopefully there we go so it's not too bad uh, it's got raised panel lines but you know that, doesn't matter in this case, really. Uh, so we're building a comic book jet, so it don't have to be uh, perfect. And um, I test fitted these halves, and I'm surprised how well they go together. I mean, I don't. Well, I'm not going to have any seam work to do on the top. I mean, it goes together so well that the seam almost disappears when you stick it together. So I can do this real quick. But, um, yeah, I mean, that almost uh, disappears. So it, uh, the halves go together quite well on the fuselage. We'll probably build this in uh, flight mode. Um, I think I have a base. I have one of the Polar Lights large uh, dome bases, and I think that'll, I think I have one that'll, do the job if I do. If I don't, I'll have to come up with something. But I would like to put it in flight mode. Uh, there's all the pieces parts. And we'll look at it when we go and actually start uh, uh, building the kit. We'll look at some of the pieces parts. But... Alright, uh, that's it. It should be fun uh, until we start this. Um, take care and uh, I'm just sitting there thinking I need to get some clear coat too. Uh, I'm about out of um, doll coat and everything's closed up. So I guess I could use uh, polyurethane satin. Get a whole bottle of that I could use. So maybe I'll just use satin on this instead of a doll coat. Alright guys, uh, I got sidetracked here. My, sometimes I do that and start thinking out loud. Alright guys, take care and uh, we'll see you in the first update of the uh, Batplane 2.